province of Bohol through Office of the Provincial Agriculturist joins the celebration of the World Food Day 2019 with the theme, Ang Atong Kaugmaon Mag-Agad Sa Atong Binuhatan Gusto Nga Pagkaon Para Walay Magutom Ning Kalibutan Karun. Former Governor and now First District of Bohol Representative Edgar M. Chato delivered a keynote address that underscored the inception of the World Food Day celebration.
ang mga dati ng mga tao sa katilipan are given the responsibility to share their extra food not to put sa nag-isod ng mga katawahan. So it is still in the spirit of sharing and giving. Kahapon, Bohol commemorated the sixth anniversary of the earthquake in 2013. There was really pain in our hearts during the earthquake. But now we have recovered and discovered among ourselves the strength, the resilience of the Bohalano people. Why? We measure with deep, deep depth the love sa sharing and giving capacity of the Bohalanos. Na diskubrihan na ito ang pagkamang kinatagod o sa komunidad na nagpaambit pagkaon ni paambit, pamuyo ni paambit, tanan ng mga panginaanan sa silingan, gitanaw na ito o kapil, hindi na itong kaugalingan. So, kanunay ko masulti, the earthquake gave us good lessons na matupad when God closes a door, He opens several other windows. Kung sila ang binuo ko sa kanang pagpuntahan, Pero abrihan niya ang dagang mga bintana of opportunities. Why are we here? Because we are given another opportunity to celebrate. Now, let me just remind everybody na dahapon, na-declare po lang sa kuniang pagkanawigan kung state of calamity because of the El Nino, the dry season. Na iba nga matanga ang production level sa buhol kung tagahan mga probinsya at pintado sa dry season. In fact, many towns in Bohol have reported na ang ilang harvest at pintado yun sa dry season. Ang atong provincial government led by Governor Arkia has already initiated a cloud ceiling to be able to arrest no? na mga manang tayulan ma-arrest ang continuous dry spell. And this brings us into focus on the fact that even in agriculture, there are things we can control by science, but there are also things that we cannot control. And one of these challenges can be called climate change. Incidentally, si Tadi Governor Edward Chato na Congressman, salamat kay inyong ibalik pagsaling ng the Chato dito sa Congreso, we have now the chairman of the Committee on Climate Change dito sa Kamara ng Representante. And I take this opportunity to bring in the message to everyone that all of us plays a special role in the adaptation and mitigation of climate change. Besides sa kagamay sa atong nanawigan, we are one of the few provinces who declare the province of Bohol as a coal-free province. What do you mean by that? We are serious in contributing to the mitigation of the footprints, carbon footprints that we cook sa tibukong kalimutan. Agriculture has a very different relationship with the challenges of climate change. Climate change affects food security, climate change affects health, climate change affects environment, it affects almost all our lives as a people. Mauna, atong sa world today, I am reminding everyone that we will use every year the World Food Day celebration to advocate our platform, platform of biodiversity, platform of agricultural self-sufficiency, platform of health through proper education. And the theme is very up. Sibu kayo, ang atong kaupaon, mag-agad sa atong binuhatan. Gusto na pagkaon, para walay magutong, hindi kalimutan karun. So if we do things 
right, we help in our agricultural productivity with good practices and good ecology. And we help also in the adaptation and mitigation of climate change. Then we can contribute to the success of sufficient food that we celebrate on World Food Day. Thank you.